with the real flow, signing out, ES News, Andy Emilio, and why? Like I've been in places in Venezuela, you know, fighting the Venezuela national champions, guys that would blow horns, big arena, you know, blow horns, booing us, throwing stuff at us, and I fought. I've been in Russia too, fighting the Russian national champion, everybody in there, they're sitting down for the for our national flag and they're booing us and stuff like that, so you know, I've been in hostile territories, you know, with big arenas with, you know, fighting their national champion, you know, and they take amateur by serious because that's their Olympian. You know, Olympians are different from, you know, how we take Olympians and how they take Olympians overseas. So I've been in those hostile, ter uh, hostile territories, but of course it, it will be different, you know, being a pro and going, you know, 12 rounds, but I think I'll take it well. Now you just called Ray Robinson the GOAT. Yeah. Floyd calls himself TBE. Yeah. Floyd comes back, Floyd could come back for that would make him solidified TBE. You know, Ray Leonard came back for Marvin Hagler at 160. Is it, or is it a Triple G fight that makes him get that legacy? I think Floyd needs to just, you know, I think Floyd needs to just stay, you know, stay retired. You know, I hope he does. You know, he's 40 years, 40 years old. He got all the money in the world, you know. You know, Father Tom catches up to everybody, so you know, he'll crush Conor McGregor. Okay. I mean, Conor McGregor is not, you know, he's not a boxer. I respect him in the UFC and the MMA. You know, I wouldn't say I'm going to MMA and I be, and I beat Conor McGregor. You know, so I don't think you know he should say he's gonna come over here and beat the best fighter in the world when most when most boxers can't beat him or couldn't. Be, well, all the boxers that he fought couldn't beat him. You name guys like De La Hoya, Birdo, that's just on here, and all these top guys. So, I mean, it's it's crazy for him to even say that. If Floyd gets his 50 and 0 via Conor McGregor, though, does it lessen the legacy? Like, do people take that 50 and 0 seriously if it's him? Um, uh, I don't know. That's that's for the uh, for the fans. I mean, a lot of fans are hyping it up, mm -hmm. so um, you know, a lot of fans want to see it. You know, and I'm hearing a lot of fans think Conor McGregor has a chance for whatever reason. But I mean, I think it, it'll be a great pay-per-view event. People are gonna watch it, so I think money-wise, it makes sense.